volunteer award from IEEE PES Kerala chapter. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation and joining with us today. We genuinely value your time that you spared for us to be part of this webinar. Welcome, sir. Next, I bid you a hearty welcome to Ms. Reena Ma'am, the faculty in charge of Women in Engineering, IEEE Student Branch, Banarama Institute of Technology. Welcome, Ma'am. My cheerful welcomes goes next to the participants who adorned this session, and I also like to welcome my fellow IEEE members. Thank you all for joining with us. I request all the participants to be inside the meet throughout the webinar and to fill the feedback form without fail, which will be posted in the chat box at the end of the webinar. OK, uh, so that was a very warm welcome. So thanks a lot, Mona Subhasini. Thanks a lot for that uh, introduction. Uh, so I think uh, we can start directly, right? Yeah, good evening, Na. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, uh, Rina, ma'am, uh, uh, I would like to invite okay. our faculty coordinator to inaugurate this session, Na, and also to sure, welcome sure. you. Okay. Uh, okay. Rina, ma'am, over to you, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Abhinu, sir, for joining us. Uh, it is a pleasure uh, uh, for us, uh, for you to be uh, conducting this uh, uh, webinar and I thank the participants uh, who showed your uh, most uh, interest in uh, participating in this webinar. Uh, so we shall start this uh, webinar in the most auspicious way with the help of uh, uh, Mr. Abhinav. Uh, and thank you all for joining us. So please stay in the webinar uh, uh, till the end so that uh, you'll be able to uh, fill the feedback form and uh, don't forget to fill, uh, fill the feedback form. So thank you for joining us. We'll uh, start the session. Thank you, ma'am. Without, yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. Without more ado, let's get into the webinar. Mr. Abhinav Raju, sir, now the session is over to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, so first of all, I just want to thank um, the uh, <coughs> IEEE um, Binarium and Institute of Engineering so Coimbatore, for inviting me for this talk. I also thank Reena, ma'am, for that warm welcome. So, uh, Anna, priorly, I want to thank Ragdesh who just uh, called me um, on behalf of Sharath, uh, just invited me for this talk, um, for this uh, do-it-yourself, all those things, stuff. And I'm very happy to be here. So thanks a lot for all, all, all of you. So I will start my session. So uh, as told, the session will be for around 35 to 45 minutes max. Uh, so I don't want to elaborate all those things. So we, we uh, if possible, we'll have a, sure, thank you. If possible, we'll have a discussion on the way. Okay, so you can, you guys can unmute, you guys can uh, share your thoughts, and we'll uh, have a discussions on, on the way. Okay, so I'll just share my screen. Just tell me if my screen is visible. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, it's visible now, right? Uh, can anyone just uh, yes, confirm yes. on that? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so uh, let's start with the webinar. So it's all about do it yourself. So as of me, as as far as I am is considered, my life is always a DIY. So I always try to build up something whenever I require something. So I'll just come to that in a uh, bit, like uh, in two to three slides. I have some of the photographs and all those stuff where I build something. So. According to me, uh, or according to anyone else out there, an engineer is a person who finds solution. And he doesn't ask so much questions, right? So when, when, whenever I see the, my juniors in my college, they always, uh, they always try to ask questions, and they themselves find the answers for them. But this was not the case uh, uh, in a couple of uh, years past, like before. The people or the students always used to ask questions to their teachers, right? And uh, they don't have that interest to find a solution. So for the time being, we'll consider we engineers are the persons who find solutions to every problem. So recently, I had some problem. OK. Uh, all those things, the pandemic hits worse, and uh, we were all working from home. So at that time, I was uh, uh, working in a company called DXA Technologies. It's a software wing. Um, of the HP, the Hewlett Packard uh, of laptop company. And it was fine for me. It was all, all good for me. But the work from home thing doesn't suit me. 
like i i really don't like sitting in front of a computer for all the day and it gave me stress when i sit a long time it gives me back pain and uh, my table was not the, that good so i decided to buy a table okay so when i uh, with my couple of um, uh, like integrated research on google i found that a fully feature packed table would cost me around 18000 to 20000 rupees but i was not uh, into that because uh, my one month salary would be going into my table i don't need that so i thought of myself i do had some of the practices of uh, welding cutting all those metal work wood work electrical work i do all those stuff in my home so i thought why couldn't i just make one so it would be time consuming it would be uh, like intricate still why couldn't i build one on my own so that was one of my recent projects so it took me around 3 days i just managed in between my work so uh, okay before that i quit from my job on a uh, july 10th and i joined as a product engineer in the r&d department of uh, dav guru the e learning platform for electric vehicles as you all know the future is electric vehicle <clears throat> okay so i just built a table and that cost me around 4500 rupees including my labor charge of two lime juices which was already uh, prepared for by my mother okay uh, so including the labor charge the overall cost for the table was around 4500 rupees and the table looked something like this and i was uh, particular on that build like i need all those things in matte black color so i need my prospectus in black matte black uh, matte black color the table to be in matte black uh, color and it should be feature packed it has uh, six outlet ports for uh, your ac appliances and also three ports for your usb charging and all those things you can find more details on this project uh, or this build in my linkedin profile also i have posted an article so as an engineer i learned some of the skills from here okay welding was not at all good for me actually when i studied my btech times i i was very furious on welding something so the only education i got from there was a one hour of welding um like uh, experience so that was nothing uh, as compared to a professional welder or something like that so with my btech welding knowledge or the practical exposure knowledge i go to my father's uh, brother's house he have a, he own a workshop and i try to weld something there and all this all those was a mess so over time i tried my best in welding something and cutting something and uh, cleaning up stuffs uh, squaring up things all those become a fantasies for me squaring up things was a little bit difficult for me but now i'm okay with that so i just had to showcase this to you like uh, uh, anything that you buy from your shop can be as professional as anything that you make it on your own okay and coming to another one uh, i have a royal enfield bike i'm uh, i know pretty of you must be a uh, royal enfield bullet fans out there and uh, again it was a very craze for me to have it in matte black color it was in a magic black color so i just asked the shop vendors whether i could repaint the same so they told uh, it would be around 8000 plus 2000 rupees for refitting the parts again the same thing uh, the same thought came to my mind why couldn't i just uh, remove all the parts so i just did that with around uh, 5500 rupees in total investment again including my labor charge of uh, two lime juice again i had this built on my own and this is how the bike looks now so i started to know the things where we studied in our uh, syllabus like the compressor the ac machines the ac motor is used for uh, uh, compressor applications and how that process actually works in real practical world i came to know about that i i i didn't had a, a paint machine on my own so i just took it for a rent and the rent was around 300 rupees per two, uh, per day i just needed it for only two days so within two days i completed my painting so all this gave me new learning skills new learning opportunities so just want to showcase all these things in the beginning itself so i'll come to that later so now to the real topic the make in india so there are two particular scenarios of board in india and make in india so let's explain the first one the board in india products it's as simple as what we are now buying as we all know india is a marketplace of buyers right we mostly buy things and the pandemic hit had increased a lot when it comes to the e-commerce sites like the amazon flipkart and all those things and uh, they 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 have this juicy thing called uh, the offers right 
the prime day sale the flash sales all those stuffs all those incredible names they gave and they uh, merchandise this pro their product in a very high price point having their own uh, like um the offers cut down to 50 to 70 percentage they shows and we indians uh, we see that okay wow 70 why couldn't we for go for that we just buy it and that trend made the outside um, companies or uh, to flourish in india so that was a scenario when consider with the board in india coming to the make in india this was a scheme announced by the uh, pm on 2014 september okay so uh, i just want to confirm that my mic i'm audible visible everything right yes yes yeah sure thank yeah, you sure. okay so uh, coming to the make in india the indian government wants us to be established as a manufacturing hub you heard me right yeah we are establishing as a manufacturing hub okay there are two kinds of make in india yeah you you may not hear uh, heard about this but there are two kinds of make in india the government can order order us you make in india okay so that's an order again that's an make in india process and also they can request or the government can request the outsiders to make in india that's again a request and here it's an order there are two ways of make in india and the, it's like a, it's kind of an open invitation for all all the manufacturers out there so we invite the uh, foreign investors in india to have their products manufactured in india oems the original equipment manufacturers you know all those electric vehicles uh, the renewable energy sector the ma manufacturers of uh, inverters solar panels all those things but what we doesn't know is that all these things are either imported or assembled in india they are not manufactured in india so the indian government promote a lot when it comes to the oem the original equipment manufacturers in india mostly in the electric vehicle sector why because as i told it's always the future and um, this is how we'll be going yeah at the beginning is over uh, we'll see some of the st statistics and trends then uh, we'll some see some of the examples uh, what all companies or which all companies are uh, started up as making india products and the relevance why you should be diying things and how yeah as all, as all know uh, we an engineer can be depicted as this way right with a lot of gears spanners testers pliers all those things and uh, you are not an electrical engineer as long as you doesn't repair a electrical bulb in your house you are not a mechanical engineer unless you repair some of the electrical sorry mechanical fittings or plumbing in your house okay so that's a typical uh, yeah typology in india again make in india i i i told already it was announced in september 2014 and it's an initiative by the government of india to encourage companies to manufacture in india and to attract more foreign investments okay so what was the objective so any any policies introduced by india so we have the national auto policies or the national manufacturing policies the national auto policies it says that uh, there should be at least uh, 65 million um, jobs should be acquired by the 2026 so it's a span of 10 years the policy is valid from 2016 to 2026 in that span india should be having a this much amount of job employments under electric vehicle sector similarly a national manufacturing policy was introduced and it had uh, many stated objectives so the main three objectives were to increase the sector growth from uh, manufacturing sector growth from 12 to 14 percentage per annum and uh, also 100 million jobs should be additionally introduced by 2022 under india under the national manufacturing policy nmp okay so again another one another one was the manufacturing sector contribution contribution gdp should be increased to 2025 uh sorry 25 percentage by 2022 and it should be revised by 2025 and all these are the objectives we have to acquire all this by 20 to, uh, 22 so that is the national manufacturing policy and this is what three the main three objectives of make in india again along with that 
the cut down of imports and increased domestic production is one of the main key objective under make in india to encourage people to increase companies to manufacture to have their manufacturing units in india of course you know the tesla is coming to india right and uh, there uh, the tesla was called only tesla here it would be called as uh, something like tesla motor private limited something like that uh, anyway uh, anyway we have we uh, have we are having the tesla in india again they are not manufacturing they are uh, assembling the vehicles they are importing all those things so there is a co controversy happening in uh, recent pa recently uh, tesla can produce or manufacture their vehicles in india so thus uh, decreasing the import taxes again initiatives are going on the field so let's hope for the best and the last one is attracting foreign investments yeah that is all about the make in india uh, procedure so this is the logo actually do you know what uh, what this logo ma means a anyone anyone let's have it a uh, discussions here so anyone anyone out there uh, the meaning of the logo if you if you just see uh okay no problem so uh, the meaning of this logo is the salute of a lion walking alone it's like a emerging thing uh, um, like uh, i can explain it to you much simpler you have your uh, the film actor rajinikanth in the when you see him on the theater he is always coming as a single man right yeah nan oru tarave sunna nooru madre sunna madre yeah something like that okay anyway a similar thing is adopted in the logo creation and this logo was uh, not a make in india product and that fantasies me why it was not make in india product this logo was uh, done by kennedy and uh, one more other person it's a company in uh, china okay again uh, that was a controversy and uh, uh, a man uh, just applied for a right to information act and he filed a petition just to know who made this logo and the one important thing there was again this was to attract the foreign investors see the last point is uh, attracting foreign investors right and that is why why we uh, had a bid with other companies and uh, a chinese company came into action where we uh, gave them the bid for making the logo yeah so in coming to an indian perspective what are the key benefits of uh, indian indians the major thing is the workforce in india we do have the mechanical engineers the electrical engineers the civil engineers all those engineers along with other uh, automotive engineers are there we have different disciplines we have different different uh, domains now mostly concentrated on the industry 4.0 we have the um, ic uh, instrumentation control engineers electronic engineers computer science engineers all those engineers the workforce is abundant in india so along with that india is a uh, uh, um, like what investing more on the skill development centers when you come to the renewable energy sector or uh, say uh, the electric vehicle sector the skill has to be developed right apart from the theoretical knowledge what, what we acquire the practical knowledge has to be acquired by the from the industries or the companies so skill development centers are there they they are amazing all, all through the india that's a great benefit for it. key key benefits of india and uh, technology intensive manufacturing units are there which means i can say a simple example uh, you mostly heard about the aether company right the aether company has got their own proprietary uh, network embedded system platform for their vehicles to communicate so that's a priority thing so that's a copyrighted thing that's a completely technologically intensive thing happening in india so we are ahead of others when it compares to some of the technologies and we are improving okay and when a, when a company comes to india as of the policies now there won't be much paperwork and this implying a ec approvals for the companies and also we do have a multiple domains of service sectors right? like tcs and all those consulting services which provides services for all those products when when a car, when a grievance arises okay you can see that uh, uh, evident in the when you when you go for taking a passport they have the uh, tcs engineers there right the service sector so it's outsourced to the tcs again the people there are so much 
so much fast than the older generations i'm not uh, criticizing those again it's faster and coming in, coming to the labor cost in india when a company when an outside company invests in india they get the labor force for much cheaper cost much per head cost than what they can what they would have been invested in china for china a person working for a day would be charged around 2000 rupees where in india it would be cut down 2000 to 800 rupees okay that's a great advantages when it comes to the uh, outside companies in india yeah um, okay so uh, how many of you are interested in this thing the ola is uh, electric scooters have been announced and today i just saw a tweet uh by bavish bavish agarwal he just posted a video that uh, he is uh, going to announce the uh, price and in the last second uh, we all were all were fooled like uh, he, he he thought he says that uh, it would be announced only on 15th so i was watching the whole 1 minute 49 second video again at uh, on uh, august 15 2 pm the ola electric scooters will be announced the price the specifications all those things as of with the leaks the motor is rated for around 6000 watts and that's something great i think yeah just for your information okay so what are the advantages of uh, uh, the national manufacturing policy or the make in india of course you can read from here it's a simple thing I already discuss more boost economic uh, growth you so the gdp is to 25 percentage value of rupees will be increased um, international brands to native brands again recently the pm um, narendra modi has uh, announced uh, a golden announcement saying that um, going local to re, um, in uh, national lo local to global he says we are going from lo local to global make in india products for the world he says so it's a shift for, from the international brands to native brands and we are becoming the exporters innovative ideas from young generation you see there there was a trend okay back in a, a 2000 or a 1990s 2000 up till 2010 i think uh, there was a trend when the iitns or the nitns with the greater master mind master minds after their studies they flew to the other countries mostly in the america the yeah the eastern part of the world they mo mostly flew to there and they have their own business there they uh, or either they will be having their own business or they will be uh, in some kind of a uh, multinational companies and this was accounted by the india how they started to invest more in the startups you can see the archimberg the bldc fan right they are uh, the startup of two iitns so the indian government started to support iitns or any other people any people with massive brains they they started to support them to give them enough funding to start their own business here back in india and not to flew away to other countries so innovative idea from young generation was a great advantage of uh, this national manufacturing policy of course more job opportunity opportunities are there uh, direct investment from foreign investors and the development of rural india that is going to be another major factor in the pandemic itself we can see uh, the led manufacturing units have been uh, developed in the rural india the mask manufacturing units have been developed in the rural india all those things are coming up right so those are some of the advantages now uh, let's see some of the companies uh, uh, as of the like the share values okay you can see this byju's it's a startup of uh, startup from kerala oyo is there olo is there somato is there swiggy is there The, you can say, simply see the graph how the status is going one uh, more than 1 billion dollar uh, in india as of the statistics per april 2021 now if you see the startup funding see what was in the quarter of the 2014 it was around 1.2 billion dollars funding and coming to the 2020 2019 we had a peak of uh, say for uh, 7.4 billion dollars so again these all things are uh, getting into the vision okay so that's uh, a pretty good thing when it comes to the startups in india like i i'm uh, i recently worked in a company called dxc i already told it was a corporate sector and i was used to that sector like i was used to the no nice shift and all those things and when i moved to this thing the diy guru uh, it's a electric vehicle 
a e learning platform and uh, my work culture entirely changed as they are a startup and i'm uh, i just uh, i'm really happy with how the startup companies have their uh, they, they're on schedule okay uh, they have to they just want the uh, job to be completed not to stress up the people stress up the employees so that's uh, really great and if you know the eighth company making india i'll check a vehicle company started with the 350x and i personally drive the drove, drove the uh, 350x the first model uh, at that time itself i was amazed by how much power it has like my uh, bullet never got into the space of this either <laughs> so uh, mevi is another brand <clears throat> it's a probably made in india product bluetooth speakers bluetooth headsets and i personally own a bluetooth speaker by mevi and they sound great uh they they are the first made in bluetooth speaker excuse me <coughs> sorry for that and uh, it was started in 2013 you can see the ceo and co-founder yeah so these products are getting um, a, a great value in the market when it comes to the e-commerce centers like amazon in the last prime day sale and all they were uh, having a much much greater uh, discounts when it compared to other companies xiaomi of course it's not a make in india uh, sorry it's not Uh, Indian product again. It's a uh, uh, headquarters in China, but we do have a proprietary manufacturing unit in Haryana with over 90 percentage workforce as women. So that's a great, great initiative as part of India. And Manu Jain, um, he is a great man. Like uh, uh, I go to have a uh, talk with him in the past year, so it was great. Like when it consider consider to the Xiaomi, um, like. the initiative to have a manufacturing unit in india and also having the 90 percentage workforce as women that's a great initiative as far uh, as from the xiaomi ola i'll check i already told that <clears throat> it's actually the world's largest and most advanced factory it's the world's uh, largest two wheeler sector and also second largest electric vehicle in two wheelers so all those things uh, uh, increase the pride of india ampere is a coimbatore based electric vehicle sector um manufacturers they are mostly concentrated on the two wheeler side they have uh, several variants like rio magnus and all those things it's a common man electric vehicle you can call that and this thing can be called as a tesla of electric vehicle sorry electric scooters and uh, sun mobility of course is another startup by bangalore in uh, uh, karnataka they are having a wide variety of the solar products uh, uh, charging stations solar products like the panels water heaters all those things and uh, they are pretty much evolving in these days again worry group under uh, the one with the sun they advertise themselves as the one with the sun and it's a great uh, actually i personally know the, their panels and they are very good panels the very most efficient panels out there one of the most efficient panels out there and they are all made in india with the headquarters in mumbai and they started their company in uh, 1989 so uh, also uh, the, again byju slanging up it's a <clears throat> byju ravitran a kerlaite kannur person from my uh, like uh, state uh, now he is uh, owning uh, the learning platform byju and uh, even they are uh, supporting the sponsoring the indian cricket team also you know and the headquarters is in bangalore it started in uh, 2011 so just want to give a brief intro into these startups okay so sest money uh, actually i am very pleased to have this in this slide why because i do i myself do have two emis pending in sest money okay one for my monitor and one for my ssd again uh, i took the uh, yeah it's like it's it's a non banking uh, uh, um, organization it gives us emi plans for 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 months where, and uh, when it comes to 3 months and 6 months you don't have to pay the interest and all those things and anyone with a anyone with a salary or a, a tax Uh, the pay slip you can avail a maximum of fifty thousand rupees as a EMI. So I personally do have these things now. Again, yeah, they they are good and uh, it's a startup. Okay, so what what you see in common in all these in all these uh, slides, all these companies I show, what you see in common? Anyone? Can anyone just answer those? Uh, anyone, anyone? Young workforce, basically. Yeah, that's a, one of the uh, prior points. Thank you, Rishikesh, for that. 
of course the workforce the job opportunities is very much higher and as as told by him it's also again a startups the young minds are getting into these things that's one of the common thing to be seen in these all companies okay so again as told uh, as uh, rishi is told employment to freshers the young minds are there young youth force is there and another one updating technology <clears throat> actually when a technical technological piece come out in india we usually replicate those things when a, when an led bulb came uh, come, come come in india they just have the driver board and they have an exact similar copy with another brand name okay so they they won't getting any copyright issues all those things still exact thing was copied right but when it comes to the startups and all those stuffs they are updating technologies they would be if, if the same company is going for led well they would be having a much cleaner technology or much sophisticated technology rather than what is existing now so updating technology is one of the common things you can see in the previous slides and also willingness to take risk there is always a risk factor in the startups you can either um, shoot up like a skyrocket or you can fail like nothing else and the willingness to take that makes you the perfect entrepreneur also branding the make in india slogan and uh, this gives me immense pr proud to say make in india okay see uh, when I, whenever i see this poster i, I get, get the goosebumps yeah probably you must also have got it anyone anyone with the goosebumps the make in india thing okay okay no problem you will come to uh, know this <clears throat> again yeah uh, so what am i saying the branding uh, the make in india slogan so uh, coming to my diy projects i had did uh, i think around uh, 18 18 uh, maximum 18 projects in my past couple of years like for, starting from my btech uh, at uh, 2015 i guess and before had also i used to uh, break things i was a keen like in a in mythologies they say they uh, they have the creator the visualizer and the destructor right and i was the uh, the triplet I, i usually distract things i just create things i just make it uh, visualize so uh, the most important part i like was to distract things so uh, a short story the, sorry the long story in a short i can say my brother had a robot it, it was just walked it just pick up things so one day when he was coming into my house uh, coming to our house he just saw that i was hitting it with a hammer to break the eyes of the robot to break the legs of the robot to get out the leds and the motor and the robot itself costed around 1500 at that time and a led and motor costed at 10 rupees i think so for a uh, 10 rupees products i just uh, distracted 1500 rupees so again that's a willingness to take risk uh, yeah uh, it's it's a willingness to take risk as you should bear all those beats and all those thing from your brother but as he was a gentleman he doesn't beat me at all i don't know why okay so this was one of my project the ata needer i just need to be as aesthetically beautiful as it can be and i think i just uh, did a, a pretty good job in that uh, it's made out of a you know the car cars uh, a wiper motor right the wiper motor is a high dc high dc current application motor it uh, draws around 10 amperes uh, which means around 120 watts of power to lift your windows um and i just uh, got it from a scrap center he told me one would cost around 500 rupees and i just gave him a, another offer yeah uh, it's kind of um, attracting the foreign investors i gave him an offer like i will take two at uh, uh, 800 rupees so he uh, thought for a minute and he told that okay you take it then i got one for around 400 rupees and i i had a power supply laying in my uh, like uh, the cpu the old cpu was there i just connected it was a direct plug in play the overall mechanical construction was a bit difficult for me and the base was a uh, concrete is there and this was uh, a structure which i uh, intricately made from the old painting rollers okay i just cleaned them i just waxed them all those things were done and i just coated them with the uh, foot grade oil and uh, this was working this uh, total 500 rupees in total cost 1 kg in 5 minutes and when i see that when i says for the atanidas online they were costing around 7 70000 rupees i think guys 
and the base models were around 9000 rupees so in comparison mine was around 110th or 120 the cost um yeah one kg can be needed in a uh, 5 minutes and i learned some of the basics of like i knew these things but again for this purpose i had a uh, knowledge on concreting the dc motors smps okay anyway concreting wood cutting metal cutting all those things it doesn't mind that as a uh, less valued job okay anyway a, a workshop a workshop person can do that job but an engineer like me or you may not be uh, able to do that but that's our fault only okay don't consider these jobs as a uh, delicate okay again uh, the home automation process i just have a poor image here uh, uh, actually my hard disk was not um, uh, found in my laptop okay sorry for that i again i have a youtube video on the same uh, you can search for my name in the youtube um, actually it's in malayalam it's in a local language i thought why all those things should be in english some things has to be in local language also so i just uh, uh, designed my pcb i just uh, have it in printed in jlc pcb then i realized that uh, for the printing purpose i would cost it would cost around 1700 rupees so i just soldered all those things in a pcb with a nord mcu board and a total 450 rupees cost and this thing is perfectly working till day it's been over 1.5 years now i think so i go to learn about the blink the iot platforms the relays uh, the flyback diodes and all those things were only in my lectures only in my books back then but now i go to know the real functioning of those things the wifi communication and some of the basic electrical wiring also so this was a home automation process um yeah automated water pump i just uh, renovated that today with a float switch and a simple simple uh, uh, mechanism a float switch a microcontroller and a relay that's it and uh, for 50 rupees this is automation only this is not kind of internet of things thing and i learned uh, a bit of coding like my coding skills are very very poor so i just copy from the github i paste it i uh, uh, like modify it in my needs anyway thank you for the creator of that code and the relays again um, the ac pumps have a inrush current like right you we all study in the engineering classes it would be around 1.5 to 2.2 2 times of the rated current and i visually see those when i turn on the motor the current pumps up to 17 amperes then then, then settles down to around 7 to 8 amperes so the relay should be at least rated for 1.3 times of the maximum current so 17 into 1.3 is around 23 something so i just go for a 30 ampere relay so all those theoretical things coming to in a practical way so relay and some basic soldering was there and um, a float switch was used do not use the hygrometer okay most probably in the when you type in the youtube uh, automated water pump you may see the um, hygrometer thing but do not go for that those things are uh, really crap right right <clears throat> they can degrade over time you have to replace it in every 3 months so the float switches are very better uh, uh, alternatives they are uh, basically the equivalent function like which you have in a bathroom flush uh, when you have the water filled up it automatically close the lid uh, a similar setup is there so this was another project so why i was saying all these things the diying things all these things come in a very lesser cost right the cost factor is very very less and i use most of the things from scrap so there are business opportunities in the scrap sector the lithium and batteries which are used in electric vehicles so you can collect it from the local uh, uh, lithium uh, uh, resellers okay you get it for a fraction of uh, 10 tenth of a fraction of a cost of the battery so you can reuse them i i collect a lot of them i collected around 300 of the batteries and uh, around 150 are working still working so i invested only around 4000 rupees max for around 20000 rupees of batteries in my house so there are business opportunities uh, for in the scrap sector where you where you recycle reuse all those things and also all these things can come in a real life manner and all this thing there is a scope for all these products to become a make in india product you can have your own you can design your own product you can design your own pcb with a simple ordino uh, atmega 328 chip and you can sell it you can sell it of course no problem this is this these things are much reliable they work for around 2 years no problems in there home automation still working um, no problems in there so if you have some more protection devices like a fuse all those things i don't usually prefer or go for fuses because 
uh, I'm in the house, so uh, anything happens, I will change it my own. So all these things have a potential to be sold as a Make in India product. So I think that's it with my session. Thank you. So any doubts, discussions, or anything, we can we can have it here. I think it's a 45 minute right? Uh, yes, sir. Any, any... Still, we have 15 minutes, 50 more minutes, sir. Okay. 15. Yeah, yes, sir. So, participants, if you have any queries, you shall proceed with, sir. You can, you can unmute and ask your questions. Show some of your works, sir. Uh, um, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I can. I think I can uh, show you the YouTube links. Okay, uh, anyone go? Anyone have you any? Uh, any of you tried the home automation thing? That's a very uh, simple or a very easy way. Easy things, right? So most of the uh, you must be an enthusiast in the. Okay, okay, great. Um, Tarikeshwar. Hi, Tarikeshwar. How are you? Uh, are you here? Uh, you can unmute, I think. Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, you are audible. OK. Uh, can you just uh, brief on your uh, experience on that? Actually, uh, while I did this project in my while seeing it, uh, I thought it was a bigger task to make an uh, IoT-based project like that uh, by few days of knowledge gaining itself uh, i knew that uh, that iot based products uh, projects like uh, home automation voice controlled home automation like that everything are uh, too simple and easy to make right 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 great yeah anyway that's great to know like uh, enthusiasts like you are coming up yeah so which platform you used uh, blink or so Blink, uh, ThingSpeak, and uh, IFTT, sir. IFTT. Okay, okay, great, great. Uh, actually, now the Odino is having its own IoT platform. You can check it out. Okay, sir. Yeah, I was recently going through that. I just bought an uh, Amazon Alexa for that. Uh, the Alexa was rated for around six thousand rupees, and I got it for around thousand five hundred rupees. So I was uh, trying on that, like uh, uh, integrating the existing home automation system to my Alexa. Uh, so it can uh, voice controlling can be a bit more easier. So Odino IoT platform is a great way to start. So Aditya, here it is some of the projects like uh, have the Blink app. Sorry for that. Yeah, if you control hit over here, I can see. Yeah, sure. Let's just see, you can uh, control the things here. Fan can be controlled. All those things. Yeah, uh, and that was one. And this is my uh, water pump thing, all those things. Yeah, I, I post in a couple of months only, uh, three or four months. I usually post a video. And uh, yeah, that's it. So any any other people, any any other enthusiasts out there? How many of you are interested in electric vehicle? Yeah. Uh, hi, hi. Okay, okay, okay. Share the YouTube's link. Okay, sure. Actually, it's in Malayalam. Okay, uh, I, I wish you can understand. Okay, Santosh and uh, Jagannathan, have, you are interested in electric vehicles, right? So, what about the lithium batteries? Are you interested in those? Aditya, you also. I am particularly interested in the battery technology. I am actually from a different background, not from the electric side, but I have a keen interest yeah. on the battery technology, basically. Oh, great, great, great. Uh, so uh, you know the uh, lithium batteries, right? Yes, obviously. Like oh, recently, yeah. I just feel in the current trend, only Tesla is updating on a rapid pace in the battery technology. Oh, of, you know, like oh yes, other... they are updating in the technology side. <laughs> so the the yeah. circular stack right now is coming out really well for the yeah, right. 4, 2, 1, yeah, 
and uh, 2170 is uh, another another form factor has been released right yes exactly they are working on new material yeah it's, it's uh, another okay 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 great 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 so, uh, so if you go for a, a scraps and this uh, i didn't hear that uh, i have some contacts in the tesla's battery department like get to know the very very recent updates from those guys oh great 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 <laughs> yeah that's great yeah, anyway get updated in technology sector again uh, try to collect the batteries uh, you get a lot of from the scrap centers and all those things uh, uh, learn from that okay uh, when i was younger i used to collect it from the scrap centers and i just charge them i just destroy them i just have to see how they catch the fire it was interesting interestingly uh, it was great to uh, see how these things catch fire how the uh, samsung not 74 a uh, not 7 phone uh, discontinued all those things i later know get to know so yeah battery is a great technology and uh, all the very best wishes uh, rishikesh for your uh, uh, future i have a aeronautical background basically and so, we are working basically on the electrification of airplane like that's one small interest in that factor so oh, okay. like that's the uh, penultimate technology when you come to the uh, battery sector basically so like the flight the flight options so yeah that's how okay. i getting clean towards battery technology okay okay great 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 yeah uh, yeah anyway thank you uh, thank you uh, rishikesh for that so any yes. other any other enthusiasts on the field of uh, solar energy uh, no one is interested in solar anyone anyone just give me a minute uh i'm audible right with the structural battery yeah. can be implemented on yeah okay as uh, st- uh, i don't know uh, structural battery i didn't get there i think uh, you can uh, unmute right uh let's uh, search for the structural battery structural battery are you trying to show the perception sorry for that okay yeah okay okay great great yeah of course i i yeah, have read this about read about this but i'm not sure of this i think it's can, it can be implemented in laptops but uh, any newer technology coming into a newer product or, or existing product there should have been something some advantages over the existing one so the existing batteries provide a better uh, energy density and also they are a uh, small yeah okay size is so small okay okay if then they can be implemented right we uh, when i whenever i open my laptop i see that around uh, 30 to 40 percentage of the space is occupied by the batteries so if these uh, structural batteries are in place of course then the processors can be bit more powerful there can be more uh, io ports the storage all these things can be expanded yeah that's a great uh, suggestion yeah then if if then they can be implemented in almost all the portable devices i guess okay i'll just uh, am i yeah so this is me uh, yeah this is some of my battery collection over here these things are known as the lithium ion batteries 18650 batteries are here uh, you have the 18 mm diameter and 65 mm height so they are called as 18650 batteries and uh, tesla was purchasing these batteries from panasonic company for their tesla model 3 and x i guess and they are uh, having around 7104 cells in their vehicles uh, but the panasonic company increases the cost of individual cells so tesla thought why can't we manufacture our own so they manufactured the 2170 which means 21 uh, mm in diameter and 70 mm in height so by increasing around 50 30 percentage of the total volume they increase the total energy density to around 50 percentage again 1.5 times so that's a great achievement and they are the uh, pioneers in these technologies and uh, okay i'm audible right yeah. so uh, this is a uh, recent project i was working on again a home automation project uh, i have a 
uh, using a Nord MCU, a relay board, and a power supply, simple uh, connections, and all those things. But always invest your money in good power supplies because these uh, things do not like uh, voltage fluctuations. So the voltage should not fluctuate much. It should stay within the limit of 5.2 volts, something like that. Uh, so do not mess up the voltages with these uh, microcontrollers and the relay boards. So always go for a better power supplies. And these things are so much reliable. I've been using this over a couple of years. Uh, this is known as the HI Link, HI Link company. It's rated for five volt, three watts. Okay, um, one second. Okay, I'm audible, right? Again. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, you are audible, brother. Yeah, okay, okay. So there. Um, Uh, okay, okay. Now I guess I'm audible. So uh, when it comes to um, uh, yeah, home automation projects, do not uh, invest less in the power supply department. Always invest much in that. Yeah. So those are the, some of the things. And I was uh, recently repairing one of my hard disk, and I just uh, had this recovered. It's a 160 GB. So I had the SATA connectors. So it was not power enough to power this thing. So I just um, uh, Google it on Google then found that they have a 12 volt connectors here. So I just sold two legs there and uh, it's working now. It's working now. So I was uh, thinking of a backup server for my laptop to store some of the information there also. And uh, these are some of my projects and uh, I love Node MCUs and I love this Google Home and Alexa. I have the both in my table. Um, as you see in that slide itself. Uh, so both of them are incredibly well. Uh, and I'm, I'm prefer uh, Alexa on the bitter high side because it's more realistic. It's, it's uh, actually it's not a girl. Actually, still it's it's more uh, reliable than a Google Home, I guess. So I think that's it with my um, things. So I love repairing things. This is one of the uh, speakers I repaired recently. It has some uh, switch problems and battery issues, so I just replaced one. Uh, it's one of my cousins, and I had a project um, of a um, IEEE paper. So it was uh, the performance analysis of a solar panel tilting or like automatic tilting. So we found that around 30 percentage of the energy can be increased. Energy production can be increased over throughout the day with having the normal radiance coming all, all, all time to the solar panel. But of course, the initial cost and the maintenance cost would be a bit higher on the side. So it's not uh, practical or uh, feasible for a uh, domestic applications. So yeah, that was some of the inferences from there. And that's it. So uh, now I'm into the software things. Um, I'm, I was studying uh, some of the solid work and all those things. So I love studying the CAD softwares. Yeah, always build up your CAD software skills. OK, always try to build up your CAD software skills. Why? Because this is the only thing the companies wants uh, from you. If you are good at CAD -tier or uh, ANSYS or SOLIDWORKS, you will certainly get a job in EV sector. Of course, there are chances. So uh, don't be limited to only MATLAB and all those things. Be expanded. OK, so I'll just stop my sharing. I think uh, that's it with from my side. So myself also, not MCU. OK, great, great, great. I, I was a ESP32 lover, but financial crisis made me a not MCU lover. Uh, it's actually around 300 rupees in between. So not MCU is uh, pretty much useful. Like I have a couple of them here. So these are the boards. You have a, a simply a Arduino plus a Wi-Fi board here. This is ESP8266 board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for that, Kale, uh, Kale Rasan. Yeah, right. Thank you for that, Kale Rasan. Um. Okay, so I guess we can stop here, right? Yeah, sure. Now. So meanwhile. Uh, I feel delighted to thank our Ashan ji, who has spent his uh, <laughs> time with us. And I, I would I would like to share this interesting thing with all the participants. Uh, 
uh, in in Kerala section, most of the people know him only with his name Ashan, which means uh, guru. Uh, really, he is a good mentor. I hope you have witnessed it during this session. So thank you, thank you so much, sir. So we are proud to have have you as a jury for our Swadeshi 2021 hackathon. So yeah, and and I just forgot to say one thing. Uh, really appreciate you guys for this taking this uh, Swadeshi. Uh, the name and also the motive behind that, uh, the making India and all those stuffs, um, having an idea thon based on that, it's uh, really amazing. So great uh, applause for that for the whole team. And uh, I'm pretty sure that name was given to you by Sharad, right? <laughs> yeah, yes, so that's now uh, Sharad and Sharad. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Uh... Okay. Thank you. Uh, participants, if you are, uh, if you need to share your feedback, uh, you can very well unmute your mic and you can share with the jury, sir. So we shall have this feedback for just a minute. Okay. Anyone, anyone like to unmute your mic and uh, share your feedback with us? So, virtual photograph. Yeah, if possible, we can have a photograph, right? <clears throat> yeah, sure. No. Yeah. yeah, sure. So, uh, I, I went from my side also. I request you to just uh, turn on your cameras. I'm in a messed up mode, right? <clears throat> okay, lastly, I just want to thank the student branch, uh, Prakatesh, uh, Sharath, Shubhasini, and uh, uh, our ma'am, Reena ma'am, right? It's our pleasure, no? And yeah. I guess uh, participants can turn on your video so that we can have a viral pick. <laughs> so on the count of five, uh, let's start a photo session. Sure. So now I start uh, counting. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess many of you have turned on your video. Thank you so much for it. Uh, yeah, Nikesh, uh, please take a screenshot. Is it over, Nikesh? Okay, that's it. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. Thank you so much. And uh, now we shall conclude the session with a word of thanks from Subhashni. Subhashni, over to you. A success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Try not to become the man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. A good evening to one and all present here, the Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Abhinav Raju, sir, and all the participants. It is such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all dignitaries. On behalf of the IEEE student branch, Banarium Institute of Technology, I extend a warm welcome to the people in the gathering. I would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. I extend my gratitude to our honorable chief guest, Mr. Abhinav Raju, sir, to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event. Thank you, sir, for inspiring and encouraging us with your words on this special date. 
A special thanks to Mr. Sundar sir and Ms. Reena ma'am for providing immense support to make the webinar successful. I must thank the organizing team volunteers for working hard for the past few days to make this webinar successful. I thank everyone for their active participation throughout the webinar. Thank you everyone once again for making it a great success. I request all the participants to fill the feedback form without fail to get the certificates. Thank you all. Our dear participants, please fill the feedback form and while filling it, uh, uh, be cautious because the data that you are providing in the feedback form will be reflected in your research. Our branch counselor have joined now, uh, sir. Sundar, sir. So you can share a few words with us. Yeah, am I audible, Pradish? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, I couldn't able to come here. Uh, sir is available. Uh, sir, I guess he left the meeting, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Then it's okay, fine. Okay, did you share the feedback form? Yes, sir. We have posted yes, sir. And, uh, okay, then. Then, then. Okay. So almost 45 participants have joined in the webinar, sir. So okay, okay. Extended. Okay, well, proceed. I, I will leave. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you. Thank you all for participation. Thank you. Dear participants, the form will be open for next 15 minutes. So ensure that uh, you fill it within that stipulated time. And uh, thank you so much for your time. So stay connected with us. And tomorrow also we have a session with our another jury panel. So we expect all your presence. Kindly join there too and uh, gain a lot of knowledge out of there. If you fill the feedback form, you can leave the session.